Hi, my name is Dave Foos. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at CareStream Health, and I'm here with Dr. Narendra Paul from University Health Network in Toronto. I was wondering if you could uh, tell me about the research you're doing in the area of chest tomosynthesis. Sure, thanks. Thanks, Dave. Um, well, you know that uh, patients who smoke cigarettes are at a higher risk of developing lung cancer, and um, studies have shown that if you look at these patients with CT scans, you can pick up early lung cancers before they get to a stage where they're going to affect the patient. And if you perform surgery at that time, you can actually save their lives. The problem with CT, it's very sensitive. It picks up a lot of, lot of nodules. And many of those nodules need follow-up. So CT is expensive and it picks up too many abnormalities, most of which won't be cancer. What we're developing with digital tomosynthesis is an accurate device to try and pick up the nodules we need to follow up as opposed to every single nodule that there is. And I think this is going to be very useful, not only to make DT accessible to every patient, but to make it affordable to do. Do you see uh, tomosynthesis as a uh, modality for early detection or for follow-up or for both? Or how would you envision it be used in clinical practice? I think it could be used for both. And because in many, many patients uh, in hospitals, when they're looking at patients who may have a disease, a cancer somewhere else in the body, and may have spread to the chest, the reason why we do CT as opposed to X-ray is because an X-ray is, is a representation of everything from the front of the chest to the back of the chest, all squashed into one flat plate. Um, with digital tomosynthesis, we take away that superimposition so we can get a lot of detail about the lungs. Right now, those patients get CT, and it's expensive, and it picks up a lot of things we don't need to follow. So this is where I think DT would have an advantage for those, as well as for the patients for screening. So uh, my understanding is that there's a presentation that's going to be given by someone from your team on this technology uh, uh, this year, and I was wondering if you could elaborate a little bit about what that presentation will touch upon. So the presentation itself is by one of my students, and we worked together with one of uh, some of our company scientists to build this uh, machine and also to evaluate using phantoms. So phantoms are simulations of what happens in patients. And we've looked at the kind of nodules that will develop into lung cancers, and we've tested the machine uh, to see how well the acquisition can pick up nodules of different sizes, and we've actually used observers uh, who are at different experience of picking up nodules to see how well this machine can work in picking up these nodules. That sounds really interesting. I look forward to hearing that talk. Uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.